Hey everyone, Henrik here. Um, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about the team skin situation, what I've been working on, uh, what my current progress with it is, and how I'm doing it exactly. Uh, so just to get to the point here, I've based this off of Epic's own material setup, uh, which consists of a base material for each character, and I've only worked on Malcolm so far. But there's a base material which has um, a very complicated layer setup. Uh, it doesn't work in the traditional way that you would think of a material being with the uh, the list of nodes with the diffuse, emissive, metallic, um, normals, and all that. Um, it's a system where you can't really see exactly what's going on. I think they do a lot of it in code. Probably there's there's a lot of functions going on. And um, if I go into the material instance. Um, there's a lot of parameters here that I can play around with, and that's that's the great thing. That's what allows me to do what I'm doing here. But um, a material instance is based on the original material, which is supposed to create these references somewhere, but I can't find those references anywhere. So I can't tweak things like um, the distance fade. Um, I'm kind of limited as to what I can do there. So um, the skin brightness kind of pops in a little bit in the distance beyond where I actually want it to smoothly transition in. So um, I'm only going to be able to take this to a point and from there Epic's going to have to decide if they want to use my work, uh, if they like the parameters that I've used, or if it gives them some ideas at least. Um, they're going to have to take it from there I think, but I'm going to show you some different settings anyway. Um, of what's possible to do with this existing setup. So I'm just going to load up Facing Worlds and you'll see the version 2 that I've created. And the thing is that um, this setup, it'll look absolutely great in some maps and I'll think, oh man, I totally nailed it, like this is the look. But then I'm, I'll take it into a different map like Deck Test and um, that map has a lot more shadows happening. So um, it, it's kind of underwhelming under certain situations. So here right away you can see that uh, we have a different look for the player close up. It uses rim lighting and I can change this rim lighting to cover the whole player if I wanted to or I can just cover basically the edges and not affect the actual skin coloration so much. And I'll tweak some of these values in real time so you can see them uh, in just a few moments. And I'm actually going to show you some changes to um, to show you what's possible with different colors as well. So yeah, I'm standing in like total shadow areas that with the original skins would have just been completely black. No, not so much. You see that I can totally see the enemy even in the darkest areas here. And the characters look great in the distance, too. Uh, I'm just going to go up into the sniper tower. Make sure I go into god mode. Turn behind view off again. So I can look through the sniper scope. And I mean, you can, you can see it looks like still amazing. Um, it looks like it's salt for both long distance and short distance, but it really isn't. And I'll show you what I mean there. I'm going to load up a different map. I'll load up deck. Work in progress, deck test. Ah, I almost forget to switch to game mode. have to make sure it's in Team DM game mode. Okay, so I'll go to behind view again. I mean, you'll see it, it still looks great, like, um, for my own character. But there will be some situations where the enemy is not so visible. 
So we'll add the bots. Like especially there, you see it's it's not even that dark there, but it almost doesn't show any of the rim lighting. And you can actually see how the rim lighting pops in and out based on how far away I am from the character. And um, the material setup doesn't allow a smooth transition. And it also doesn't allow for a zero distance. Um, so like everything is lit up. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you some of the extreme settings that you can that you can get with this material. Go into God mode. And this is so freaking chaotic. Maybe I'd better load up a different map so I can actually show you without getting frustrated. Um, this is a good test map that I like to use myself. Um, slope test. Make sure I don't say that. Alright. Load that up in death, team death match. Okay. need to add like four bots. The bots in this map don't do anything because there's like no AI pathing or anything like that so I don't have to worry. Try like that bots four. Oh! <laughs> oh man. Get the hell out of my way. I don't... Okay, let me try this again. In a freaking sandwich here. Alright. <laughs> Sheesh. Alright, so if I go over here, go in the shadow, visible. They're still fairly visible. Now let me show you what we can really do here. If I can remember everything. All right, so the first thing is the rim power. Um, I have it set to five minimum right now. The lower this value goes, the more of the character it actually covers. And we can bring this into a negative value and it just becomes brighter and brighter the lower you go as you can see so we'll just stick with something like a, a one for now and I'm gonna switch this around so that it affects the players who are further away not myself oh actually first I'm gonna show you the fall off values so um, the team coloration or the bright skin effect can affect the varying percentages of the model. It can cover the whole model or it can cover mostly the top part. So if I set it to like 0.1 and then it, it's like, or zero, then it covers pretty much the whole thing. And if I use a higher value like three, then it only covers around half, um, 11, and it's just like the shoulders. And so now let me switch this around. Distance fade. I'm going to turn this to a positive value. Uh, let me tweak this height fall off again. All right, move this over a little bit. So let me switch back and forth here again so you can see a little more clearly. Positive value, negative value, positive, 
negative. All right, so what we really want, or what at least I think um, is better, is a positive value so that we can more easily see players that are further away, whether they're in shadow or not. And you can see how they kind of pop in and out with a bright skin setting when I'm up close to them. So, let's see. I don't want to play too much with these values because I don't want to lose them entirely. Um, but one other thing I wanted to talk about is the base multiplication value on the player. By default, epic skins are at 1. And I, I mean, I've tweaked a lot more than just the uh, base multiplication value. I've tweaked the pants and I've tweaked the colors on the plastic and uh, the nylon and the camo, subplastic, um, all these areas that you see here. So it looks a lot different than the skin does no <clears throat> by default in the game. But what I noticed was, with a value of 1 for the base multiply, um, everything tends to look kind of faded. And this is a problem that I think that Unreal Tournament 4 has in general. Um, all, all the color kind of looks a little bit too washed out. And if you have color that's darker with full saturation, it will look much more colorful than a bright color does with that same amount of satur saturation on it. Because when you add light, it just kind of makes it look pastelish. And we don't want that. So, I mean, at first I tried lowering it to like 0.5 and it looked fairly good. But when you enter a bright area, um, it tends to get washed out again. Like if I stand here, um, this blue won't be as saturated with even a 0.5 as it would be with 0.1. You see how much bolder that color gets now. And if I bring it down to like 0.01, then everything else gets like super dark. Um, so we don't really want everything to be super, super dark, but um, we, we want the color to be bold at least. So I found that 0.1 was pretty much the best setting there. Um, now, before I ramble on too, too much and bore you to death here, um, I'm just going to briefly show you some different values for the team colors. Like for blue, we could easily change that to a lime green or something. Um, plastic is the main color that we want to tweak, I believe. So if I were to bring blue way down and bring this way up, then the skin turns green, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. And um, since these are material instances, those parameters can be controlled through the code. And if Epic wanted to, uh, what they could do is create like a kind of dial for each team. So that, um, I mean, all of these values kind of get shifted over, um, whether it's for the armor or for the cloth, they all get shifted over by a certain uh, value uh, to turn it from blue to green to purple or gold or whatever the player wants, really. And so I think that would be pretty awesome because on different maps uh, certain maps like Lee for example everything in that map is pretty much blue and uh, a blue team wouldn't be very visible there and even on this map uh, green is much more visible than blue so now I could take the red team and I could I mean I could make this obviously look much better for, the, for this blue team but I just wanted to show you that that was possible. I'm going to do the red team here. Turn down the red a little bit. Turn up the green. And try and make it more like a gold color. Maybe I should tweak this too. 
uh, tweak all these values. Yeah, you see it much more um, when the glow setting is turned off. So, I mean, you really see how powerful this is. Uh, just tweaking a couple of values, you get radically different results. Let me play with it some more here. Change the blue team to, say, purple. like that pink team. Um, then before I finish I'm just going to show you some different glow effects. Actually no I already showed you that so yeah I'm pretty much done. Just switch that back for a sec. which one of these controls that glow color because it's always kind of the same it's always kind of purplish looking uh, yeah I don't know exactly but anyway uh, I hope this gives you a good introduction to what is possible and I mean, by all means, go ahead and uh, look into this whole material instance thing if you want and come up with your own settings if you think that you can do better than this. Or um, hopefully Epic will have some ideas based off of what I've done here and um, they'll be able to give us the kind of settings that we all want in the game. like something that's a good compromise uh, which I think my first version really was uh, pretty close to other than the close-ups they were a little bit too dark and so if they can uh, take care of that then I think what I had there would be really good even for the final game so that's about it and uh, hope you enjoyed this <laughs>